here hello and then i can add and there you go this is our checkbox hey everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to use checkboxes in pi visual so let's get started the first thing we will do we'll go to our new project and we are going to create the name of this project will be checkbox and the same thing we are going to do in our python site and we are going to go ahead and create a new directory by the name checkbox as well so we are going to get the path reference for this the absolute path and so that we can basically link it here first of all we are going to save it once we save it we are going to link it over here and that's pretty much it so now the auto sync is enabled and we can use it as before now what we will do is we'll go to inputs and here you can see we have uh, checkboxes we can click on see all and these are some of the checkboxes that we have added so here you can click here and let's say we will click on this one as well now as you know we can simply uh, update this and it will reflect on our python side so let's go and test it out so if we go to our app.py and we run it and there we have it so here you can see we now have these checkboxes you can click on the text as well and you can click on this uh, checkbox area as well so it's up to you what you want to click on now the good thing is we have a lot of settings for checkbox that will allow you to have your custom checkboxes so for example uh, let's start with one of them let's delete the others First of all, you can change the size of it. You can make it bigger and smaller based on whatever your requirement is. And then uh, you can see the width and height is changing here. You can change it from here as well, and it should work fine. Now, if you want to check it or uncheck it, you can simply click on the checkbox. So that's how it will work. So if it is unchecked and I update it, then by default, it will be unchecked when we run it. But uh, if we check it then it will be checked by default so that is the default value that we are referring to over here that's the default value okay so then we have our text you can write here anything so for example let's say if this was a task and I were to write code code then you can see I can simply write the text here uh, then we have the checkbox settings if we click on that you can see we have the check color so here right now the checked color is green if i wanted to i could make it red for example so now the checked color would be red but the unchecked color is still gray so how can you change that this is the unchecked color so if you click on that let's say we make it blue and there you go so unchecked color will be blue and checked color is red uh, not a very good design but you know just for the sake of it and then the check mark color so right now the check mark color is uh, white so what we can do is we can click here and we can change it to let's say green and there you go so now the check mark color is great so you have a lot of options that you can play around with and this is the spacing that is basically between the checkbox and the text itself uh, then we have the border settings so these are the border settings for this so if we increase that you can see there is a border there and if we can change the color of the border itself there you go so we can have that too uh, then we have the check mark type now this is in an interesting one because you can have multiple check marks uh, like a dash and asterisk and you can also have a custom one for example if i wanted to write a or or uh, and the good thing is you can even add emojis here so if i just google uh, emoji uh, let's say heart and i can simply copy this emoji let's just go to it and copy that and i can paste it here and that will appear as well so that's pretty cool uh, if we think about it um, if we go back and if we run that and there is your heart there you go so that's how it works now uh, again uh, the sizing of course is not going to be this big anytime soon so normally the sizes are like this so a checkbox is usually this size and of course you can change the font settings if you wanted a different type of font you can have it here and um, you can for example uh, change the font size 
you can make it bold italic whatever you want from here the font color you can change that too and then you also have the radius so corner radius you can see here that's the corner radius normally the checkboxes they don't have a corner radius so you can leave it like that and uh, then the padding itself uh, this can be useful in some cases if you wanted to you can add some padding on the left or on the top again depending on your need so that's the basic idea of how you can use this uh, uh, with uh, different settings so if i go back here and i will just select one of these boxes here and there you go and then uh, what i can do is i can change the radius of this to nil and this should be a default checkbox that you usually see uh, in websites and software so there you go accept our terms and that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and look at how you can code this the coding part is very simple again so the idea is that in the app.py uh, we can initiate here we can add uh, our logic part so in the attachments we can add that now what is the name of this let's say we call it uh, check box one let's say or let's say accept right accept so this is the name of our checkbox now and what I can do is I can update this and meanwhile I can go back and now I will write here that within our UI we have a page underscore zero and within that we need checkbox underscore accept and now we need to attach an event uh, or attach uh, a function to that event so we can have the event name as on underscore change so whenever a change happens whether a person clicks or unclicks checks or unchecks the checkbox then a function will be called so let's say uh, do underscore something so that is the name of this function and do something will already have uh, inputs which is the change value right so let me write it down here so for example we can write do underscore something some thing and by default it will have the value the change value right you can name it anything you want so here we can simply print this out as value and now if we run this and if we look below you will see that when we click or unclick you can see it says true or false so that's the basic idea so now based on this you can say okay allow to go to the next page or give a pop-up or change the text or do something or you can do lots of different things with this now to really check the value of this you can go to our pv store and here we have a to-do list already so if we download that and if we go back to our projects this is the to-do list and this is our code and it has the code as well as uh, the UI so if we link it let's create a new folder and we will call it uh, to do underscore list and we will select this folder we'll view files auto sync is enabled and now we can simply update this so while it's updating we can go back and if we go to uh, the to-do list asking for permission we gave it the permission and now we have the file now because we didn't update it uh, properly it already finished before we made the safe change that's why there was an error so we can do it again no big deal and there you go we have the app.py now if I run this now let's run that and there you go so now this is our to-do list and I can write here hello and then I can add and there you go this is our checkbox and that's how it works and I can for example write here uh, clean room that's my to-do list and then uh, create the design right S I G N <laughs> and there you go so that's basic idea and you can cross it as well and if you keep adding look at this if you keep adding it will tell you that this is a daily task uh, provider so enough tasks for today complete the previous tasks before adding new ones right so you have to complete these and you need to close them before you can add new so this is kind of a feature that we have 
added. Anyway, so you can get this code right away from the PV store and you can try out yourself. As you can see, Checkbox has a lot of functionality and it can open up a lot of possibilities for these projects. So this is it for today. I hope you have learned something new. I hope this was uh, fun for you and uh, informative as well. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one.